Hello everyone, this is Kai Rundo here for another video. Um, this is going to be a new series that I like to call The Road to uh, Tommy 3.0. Um, this is going to be like a a like a, a vlog, if you will, of me, of me pretty much telling you about my successful find of one or not. Uh, what I have with me is my is my latex Trick or Treat Studios 2012 Michael Myers from Halloween 2. This is the standard version. This is not um, this is not uh, the, the Bloody Tears or the or the a comedy version. This is the standard one with the uh, guessy camel hair and um. Very nice mask, very nice budget mask. If you if you want a nice Michael Myers mask, but you don't want to pay like 200, 300 bucks. Personally, personally, I find paying that much because I'm, you know, I'm a collector. But I would never be picking me up the other Michael Myers masks that they have, and maybe some others. So, um, funny story about this, how I got this. Um, I know that I showcased it in my. Uh, in my past horror videos, but I never really told you how I got it. I got it horror hound. I used to dress up as Michael Myers. Um, my buddy, which on YouTube he's known as Chapman One Mask or something like that. Um, I'll uh, I'll post a link of his channel below. He actually uh, let me his uh, coveralls and a Michael Myers mask and his knife, and I. Really love doing it. I mean, everybody kept coming up to me for pictures, so I'm definitely gonna be making this another hobby and see what happens down the road. You know, like I said, you know, I want to become a, I want to become a professional guitar player. I want to make video games too. So, um, anyways, I went there and I looked around. You know, nothing really popped out of me. I was gonna get me a part three Jason Voorhees mask because I'm also planning on making a part three Jason. Well. We we went to the Chicka Chicka Studio mask mask section and I saw them there and I was just wowed by them like oh my god I was like whoa when it comes to masks nine um fifty percent of the time well in my personal opinion seventy percent of the time the pictures don't do the mask looks and this looks good the only complaint I have about mine is that they're supposed to be a bit more wide on the neck part. So, I'll probably uh, fix that sometime. I'll probably get this converted. When I can. I'll probably give me another one of these. Have one for shove and have one for wearing. This one will probably become... This one will probably get converted. And... And I'm glad I got this like before Horror Hounds was ending. So, yeah. Luckily, and I tried it on and... You know, a lot of people always kind of complain about their masks being too big and all that, but uh, I don't mind it, you know. It's actually, it fits, but I'm dead drawn, planning on getting me a Warlock mask from, um, from, uh, from, uh, Cemetery Gates Production. They're, uh, considered the best How Michael Myers Halloween 2 mask. So, anyways, um, back to the whole story. Well... I've always wanted this mask. When I first started to really get into heavily getting in, into making horror costumes, which was back in 2012, when I started, I was always off and on. I was always debating if I should or not, if I should or not, because you know, you know, it's time consuming, and you, most of the time, people want to get as movie accurate as you can. As for me, I'm the same way, you know. But when it comes to Michael Myers, you know, I'm more okay with it because like I said the the, the, the coveralls I have um they're not movie accurate um I if I want to actually I can actually buy it I can actually buy the movie accurate um coveralls with uh, the proper chest pocket and everything which there's a lot of debate if it was green or blue or gray or whatever I don't care but so you know what I'm just gonna call this my costume plan vlog or something so 
anyways uh like i said you know i wanted this mask i was finding one like i found a rubies one which which looks good i mean i mean if i ever got a rubies remake of Luffy's mask i would i would fix that thing i, I would convert it as bad as i can i would shave the hair to wear because if you look at the hero mask and like the time people know and the head skinner the the hair is split and there's a stitching part right here and I would do that I would fix the hair I would make it a bit more leather face looking I would I would pretty much change a lot on it I would I would change I would actually change the paint screen scheme but like I said I'm not into um mass produced leather face masks um you can't really find any good ones when it comes uh, to Leatherface. Luckily, I know where to get some good uh, original Leatherface masks. Uh, this buddy, uh, this guy called Connor on Facebook, I'll I'll post a link to his um I'll post a link to his Facebook page. So he makes fantastic stuff. He does a fantastic work on his stuff. I was impressed. So I'm planning on buying all three. Again, what I'm saying, but the funny thing is, I was just gonna get one to on the shelf. But what happened is because of money wise and it didn't happen. 2013 came along. Still wanted that mask. Didn't happen. But but I, I forgot about it until my 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 uh my good friend Jackson got one. And I was so jealous. I was like, oh you lucky son of a gun. Because what happened before that he posted a link of one and I and it was almost like um how can I explain this? It was almost like a scene. It, it was almost like one of those scenes in like some of those paranormal horror movies to where they get tempted to like... They, they get tempted by the devil, if you will. And I saw that mask. I know what the price. And I'm like, oh my god, I love what happens. But what happened is I posted that Oh man, well again he goes that you know you don't you don't have a cosmo. I go like so. <laughs> I saw him off the mask and he messages me, you know, saying how you know he won't you know he won't ever take a mask from under him. And you know, there's probably a lot of people that have those masks and and unfortunately because of the seller, actually the artists have having a bad reputation of not setting out masks when he's supposed to they kind of rare and that's probably why you 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 see a lot of Michael Myers masks and Jason Hawks and Freddy Gloves on Facebook I mean on Facebook and eBay because they're more common with leather faces you don't find any I mean not a lot of people want to do leather face for some reason Maybe it's because it's not as popular as like Halloween and Friday the Thirteenth and Nightmare on Elm Street. But the time of April know is the current mask I'm trying to find. Um, my love once again, my bug Jackson is going to be uh, making me the apron for free. So thanks a lot, dude. Um, so I'll get started on the actual costume part. The mask and the chainsaw will be the hardest part to come by. Um, so, pretty much, you know, I have a funny feeling that this is going to be my most interesting costume that I'm going to be making. It's going to be my most hardest project because of the mask being so, being, be, um, being harder to get and kind of impossible to get now unless you... Unless you want to uh, take the risk and buy from Addison more. Actually, I'm making that my last resort. I have two last resorts actually. I will I will either go to Mass I will I will either go to Addison and buy one from him or I will go and get me the head skinner. And if I go with Addison, I'm gonna be on his ass. I'm gonna be constantly if he tells me that It'll be he'll ship it out around around um let's say I ordered it in June and he said, you know, and he got the mask on and he said he'll ship it out you know, in one of his time and he doesn't. 
and Ronitos and Tommy was I'm gonna be after his ass. I'm gonna be letting him know try guys seriously that one, this is why so many people are so re so re so reluctant from buying from you. Because you do not respect the customers. You take your position as the best lovers maker to heart and that's in a bad way because he scams people he makes the best Leatherface remake mask with the originals once again I have to give that to Connor for that um and it's and it's dumb with all so many people just want to scam people and it's like if you can't you know handle being being a part of this business then what you need to do is you need to set yourself a limit of how many masks you'll make of each mask every year like like for Tommy since for Tommy 3 since it's so much of a high demand then limit it to like 50 masks per one person you know if you want one then it goes down the list until we when it you take a break for 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 that year I doubt he will so, you know, it's a shame. You know, I was hoping to get one, and I find I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Having patience, constantly checking eBay, and constantly checking um this uh, collector's group I'm part of. But if 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 anyone knows someone, if uh if anyone knows someone that is selling theirs for a decent price, I don't want to pay too much for them. Yes. Yes, I can. I can understand. There's a high demand for the Tommy Three, but I don't want to pay like 900 bucks because because there's a sale on Tommy Two, and in my personal opinion, that's not worth the money for that mask. I'm sorry. Um, personally, I would I would only spend about the list price that Tommy uh, that Asin has it for the deluxe or or the Sander or even lower. Um. But you know it's a it's a shame, it's a damn shame. Supposedly, uh, Jeffrey Hall was FX, aka George Crenshaw, has been has also became that way too. I actually do have one of his masks. Let me, let me reach behind me and get it. It's my remake slash versus hockey mask because if you actually look at it. It actually, the coloring looks like a versus mask. It's not supposed to be this dark. It's supposed to be much lighter of a mask. I'm very disappointed with how I did the mold. Um, the circles here are not are lighting, and I believe on the on on the remake mask, it, it's downward like the actual original Jason. A lot, a lot of the Jason masks are. Um, but other than that, he didn't he didn't do a real bad job. Just that part right there that kind of gives him like. But he hit the mark real well. This was my first mask, and I love this mask, but I can find me a better remake mask online. So I'm going to get one. You know, this mask is pretty damn cool for my first mask, you know. I'm happy I have one. Um, what well, my... Other plans are for another costume. I want to make me a full-blown rubber Godzilla suit, and that one's gonna be a bitch to do. I want to get more experience with that type of stuff. Um. So, pretty much, yeah, that's my search right now. Um, I also want to add that, like I said, I'm done talking about Naruto. Um. Unfortunately. Got to clean off my ACDC black and black work file in here. Unfortunately, by the one video I have, I kind of I kind of had to put my comments in lockdown mode for a little while until the heat gets off. I'm gonna wait for five months to to turn to where anyone can anyone can comment. Anyone can comment. Um. Whoops. Um. I, this will probably be my last video until Christmas, 
unless something happens to where I get the Tom 3 mask, but I, I will be doing a 2014 in review of everything I got in this year. Movies-wise and, you know, horror-wise, Godzilla-wise, music-wise. Because this is, anime-wise, this, this is what my channel is based off. Uh, you know, with my music that's over here, my horror stuff and my Godzilla stuff up there, and anime. And, you know, I've been thinking about busting out my uh, Tex Tex Chainsaw remake soundtrack and listening to that. And if I, when I, and when, and when I ever get that mask and I complete my costume, then I'll post a video of it, you know? I'll show you everything. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably take it, I'll probably, um, move this whole thing back to the PS3 for that video. There won't be a lot of talking anyway, so it's not like it'll lag. To be honest, I would rather deal with the out of sync with my audio on this than the lag, because that was pissing me off. Um, is there anything I want to talk about? Ah, yes. This is just a quick little rant I want to do about horror fans. Um, I got into I got in, I got in, I got into this little scrabble with this with these two Michael Myers fans, and somebody posted original Michael Myers or Leatherface. People saying Michael Myers. And seeing how Leatherface, I, I put Leatherface, and I come in and I go, look, Leatherface is my favorite slasher. I'm not saying that Myers ain't, ain't a badass, because he is. I'm saying that Leatherface will always be my favorite, and that's why I'm trying to get their point. Yes, when it comes to Leatherface, people, you know, the Michael Myers fans, Jason fans, and the Freddy Krueger fans, just look at him just skull, like, <laughs> loser but a lot of face is not someone you want to mess with either but you know that's just a little rant just a little thing I have um, I'm going to give you another quick view of this beautiful beautiful mask by Trick or Treat Studios I love this thing so much oh my god it's so beautiful my first Michael Myers mask and I got a good one guys I'll probably brush out the hair. I'll probably style it to look more like the uh, mask. And it's actually punching hair. Holy shit. <laughs> it's punching the hair. And I think, yeah, there's like, I'm not sure if it's the dirt or if it's because the latex is starting to kind of go more. Because I noticed this, I mean, I got the best one out of all of them because mine doesn't have that much shading on the nose or whatever. As you can probably see, very noticeable once you take it in the lining. Halloween 2. Let me check out what number I have. I think. If I'm correct, these have numbers, and if I'm correct, then, then I have probably a. This is just my opinion, but I think I have number 9. It would be kind of cool if that was correct and I actually did have uh, the number 9 model. It's in the top 10, so hey. So, that's pretty much my update video um, until Christmas is over. Like I said, I'll do a social video once my once some, once some my family leaves. Once, uh, once my family that's driving here leaves. So, um, that's all I have for this for today, guys. Um... Happy, um, happy, I was about to say happy Halloween, but Merry Christmas, um, happy holidays. Um, if, uh, if, uh, you guys celebrate Hanukkah and Krenza, then happy Kwanzaa and happy, um, Hanukkah to you guys and, and, uh, see you next time and, you know what, for this final end piece. Why the hell not? I don't think I don't think I, I think I'm gonna end this off of a nice little video here. Yes, I have long hair, but I'm not gonna cut it just because I want to wear masks. <laughs>
the hair on my eyes. Good night, everyone.